Androstenedione is an endogenous androgen and it's synthesized through the cholesterol pathway from pregnenolone and progesterone. It's later then converted to testosterone by the action of a specific enzyme called 17-beta-hydroxysteroid. It's also converted to estrone, which is later converted into estradiol. And just to give you a basic understanding, testosterone and estradiol in your blood send signals back to the brain or the hypothalamic pituitary axis to tell you, do you have enough or do you need more? And so if you have more of it, it's going to tell your body to decrease production of testosterone or estradiol and vice versa. In the studies of androstenedione, they supplemented men with 300 milligrams daily for once a month. In that one month, they did see a significant increase in total testosterone levels of about 34%. However, when they continued that supplementation for up to 12 weeks at 300 milligrams daily, they actually noticed that the testosterone went back to baseline and there was no longer an increase. They did, however, notice that there was an increase in estradiol levels. And this is important because when estrogens or estradiol are elevated, it can lead to some adverse events. This can include things like having breast enlargement, what we call gynecomastia, or having unfavorable lipid profiles, meaning that your cholesterol, your bad cholesterol goes up. In addition to looking at blood levels, they also looked at lean body mass. And what they found was that there was no increase in lean body mass or type two muscle fibers, and there was no decrease in fat mass. So these are all things that we would expect to see if you're increasing your testosterone. You'd expect to see more lean body mass, less fat mass. They did see in blood work that there was an increase in LDL to HDL, as well as an increase in apolipoprotein A to apolipoprotein B, meaning that you are now at higher risk for cardiovascular events because of these changes in your lipids. So ultimately, while this mechanistically seemed like, oh, this is great, it's a pro-hormone, it's gonna lead to more testosterone production, it didn't end up making a lasting impact with daily supplementation and it didn't actually give you the anabolic changes or muscle growth that you would expect if you were taking testosterone.